Okay, so I'm gonna show how I've been making these thumbnails. I didn't really plan on making this video, but um, releasing this video. But I thought I would just to um, show how I make these thumbnails for this Thailand trip specifically. So what I do is I come into the actual video that's in Final Cut Pro, and I just try to find a picture usually of a person that, well, it's like me explaining it, and that's what most of this video is about. So it's usually, yeah, try to get a person in it. So just find a good frame. And then I just take a screenshot of that frame. Uh, and then I try to find a back good, I'll cut that image out and I try to find a good background image, which I'm talking about packing for Thailand here. So I will just get a shot of the stuff that I'm packing. When you're doing this with Final Cut, tough because you're just doing it frame by frame so it's not always really sharp if the camera's moving. That's good. So that would be my current background image. It just do the same thing. Screenshot it. Whole thing unless you can see a part of it. Okay, so that's the background image. We already know we're gonna use that. We probably won't do anything to it. This is obviously Photoshop, by the way. Um, and anybody that knows Photoshop, you know that there's a thousand ways to do it, so it's kind of funny when you watch someone else's tutorial that knows Photoshop, and you're like, what the fuck, that's not the way, that's not the way you do it. But, <clears throat> this is how I do it, so, you can do it your own way. So, same goes here. Sometimes you can use this, but <clears throat> it's not very good. Or rather, you're looking for good. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I usually use the pen tool because it sounds it doesn't work very accurately. But it looks like it is today, so. I guess I'm gonna use it. But sometimes it works, but it should be very easy. Oops, I don't know what the fuck off with the pen. So I don't like using it. Fixing this part. It. You just have the inverse the selection. Normally I do curves, but it's like we'll brighten it up a little bit. It's already pretty dark. Don't need to bring my blacks in much. Okay. Uh, so then, this seems to be easy. Which is cool, it's supposed to be easy. But still, Gonna be trying to be eye catching for a good thumbnail. Yeah, hey, see that? That's how I use the pen tool, but this way doesn't matter because we're just gonna drop it for that. Then, 
go stroke this. Since I've used 10, I just keep it consistent because I've already used 10. I suppose you could switch it up every time, but it seems to be kind of the new trend. All this is based on trends, obviously. Get to what works. Uh, and then I usually do an outer glow, not the yellow though, because it looks funky. Straight up white in the corner again. selection job make it look not as bad so I've learned so you can save time by not doing a good job on the pen tool the selection or a wand or whatever you want to use by just doing this I don't know it's probably not my pen through it maybe or you can outsource this for cheap too but I kind of like it it's fun uh, so Duplicate all of the words in this, so then I just make a new set, group, whatever you call it. Something else. Put them in there. Neighbors get crazy. It's Friday night. Or something, you know, and other neighbors. Uh, quiet Street, too. Not tonight. Packing, so then that should have everything off with the trail. Yep, sweet. So that is it. That's how I pretty much make it. That's, that's the final product. So. Stop. It's hilarious. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up.